Okay. It's 10.07 p.m. I'm a few minutes late, but that's okay. Nobody cares. On the following day, too, it's now July 14th. Normally, given my track record, I'd take several days to play this game again, but nope. Not this time. It'll be next time, but not this time. Okay. Search for your next target. Prove your existence to society. I mean, we could, if we wanted to do that, we could technically just post, we are the Phantom Thieves. Here, here we are. This is who we are. So, uh, I'm trying to remember. We just, in the game, we just went to that buffet. Can I work out? Oh, you want to do it? Yes, I can, but is there anything else I can do instead? Sojiro want anything? Now listen up. Nope. Swear to god, the, the thing I'm doing the most in this game so far is working out. But that's because I don't have anything else to do. You know, there's no point to me cleaning the store or studying because all of my stats are already maxed out. I can't confidant on anyone yet. I can't even go that far out at night yet either. I don't need to do any crafting. I have the perma pick. Now, let's carry out our no flant poo to give. Yep. Ignore my heaviness. The weight is all in your mind. I just expect that beam to fall down and break eventually. The whole screen is shaking, too. You're doing these like I'm not even here. I'm impressed. Let's try a different method next time. Nice going. So I did end up taking a nap today, but my headache is still here. So I am playing this game with a headache. <laughs> Yay. I need to check the audio. All right. So I did end up thinking it sounds fine to me. Well then. So let's see. I don't know how many times I've mentioned this before. Oh, there goes my dogs. But why am I playing this today? If I played it yesterday, well, because I uh, because I got today off. My sister had to switch days with me, so I got today off. So I was able to record during the day. First off, I'd like to begin by congratulating you. Why, thank you. To think our master would give words of praise. You better treasure this moment, inmate. You have encountered allies who share your ideals, and you have found your place in reality. The time has come. Your rehabilitation will soon begin. You know, I'm now just wondering. The voice actor who does Caroline and Justine, does she, does she record... Record, record, record each character separately, or does she do them back to back? Kind of like just now. Does she Oscar Isaac style, just swap between uh, Stephen Grant and Mark Spector on the on the fly, or does she do I separate recordings for each character? Now. You have a special potential. However, that must be refined into a useful power. It is weak now. But refining it shall grant you the strength to stand against the coming ruin. I feel like it might be easier to record to record um, both characters at once. Then again, I don't know anything about voice acting. I just feel like if you record them separately, then you won't remember the expression you gave for one. So then you gotta listen to it and it's like, oh, okay, and I can work with this now. There are various means by which you may gain the power to resist the ruin. Fighting shadows and gaining experience is one way. The fusion process I taught you prior is another. You know, I don't remember this when Mementos plays into this game. Guidance. I know it's early on. It has to be early on. It may be presumptuous of us. We have words of wisdom but is it before we meet Yusuke or, or not? Or was it after? You better hone your relationship <clears throat> with those you have contracts with. 
spending time with those people will lead to the cultivation of your uh, it has to be before if you've got time to waste you'd better visit your contractors innate that is another source of power to evade the ruin that our master has mentioned thanks to the contracts you formed your heart is steadily gaining the power of opposition it seems the rehabilitation is going well this is a truly joyous occasion. I almost thought that said Joy Cons. You an ability befitting of your newfound growth. Consider it a gift. May the devotion to your rehabilitation grow even deeper. I have high hopes for you. My bond with Igor is growing, and I don't even have in uh, his his Arcana, Lamat. We talk about Lechonk. Increase your persona stock to eight slots. Well, damn, if I wanted more slots, I would have just bought them from Crazy Dave. Hold more plant seeds. The time has come. Return to your brief moments of rest. And don't forget to go talk to your contractor's inmate. Forming a contract with confidence. I'm pretty sure I know this already. Oh, that's right. The, the 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 public's belief in us. Looking around, I don't think I brought a cup for myself. I have a whole pitcher of water, well, half, but looking around, I don't think I brought a cup for myself, so I guess I'm going to have the waterfall for today. Now, now we get the big bang challenge. That burger alone is is a meal for an entire day. And more, too. Wow. Like you heard last week, gym class is cancelled today. Instead, I'm supposed to give you some guidance. The gist is, don't go around talking about the incident. Do we have any food challenges around us? Uh... So I can't say anything myself. I'm sure, I'm sure downtown probably does somewhere. I'm ashamed for not having noticed that a student was suffering like that. I'm not- Kawakami, with your lazy ass, I wouldn't be surprised. It seemed like... Well, a normal person. Honestly, it still doesn't feel real. I guess people can You know, I call her lazy, but we all know the situation she she's in. Rough, huh? Oh yeah. I just remembered something I learned about psychology. They say that humans have several different personalities. Yeah, lazy, she's working two jobs, exactly. Different but the rest of the students don't know that. Oh, to be clear, and we don't know that either, just yet. Personality <clears throat> These different personalities can be a different gender or a different age from you. I mean, if you think about how gods and monsters and myths were first based on the human image. If you actually saw one of those personalities with your own eyes, it might look like a monster. Mm hmm. Hmm? You all seem more alert than usual. Did I finally talk about something that interests you? Well, I'm just talk about that. anime. You will have it my complete like attention. I just now understood what I learned long ago. Wait, really? I don't remember getting a free piece of knowledge from this. Okay. much but we've been getting more postings on the phantom aficionado website i want to make my friend apologize for not returning the stuff i lent him Ugh, deal with that yourself hey those girls you know that phantom thieves rumor about stealing kamashita's heart i wonder if it's true it's gotta be made up do you seriously believe they exist but look what happened to Kamashita. That's right, we Mortal Kombat style fatalityed him by ripping out his heart. It's ours now. Yeah, you might be right. 
right. I guess there's no way they really exist. Like, which characters did that? Kodal Khan, Kano, Collector. Like this. I wonder if it'll affect our college entrance. Still waiting for Mortal Kombat 12. Because I do That's love me some Mortal Kombat. They'll see soon enough. Oh, you sold it off. Two or three famous guys? People will have to believe we exist. So about those big shots, we don't have any leads. I'm really scratching my head on is Ryuji wearing a Persona 4 shirt? Looks like you'll just have to live a normal, honest school life. Guess I'll just have to find out when I finish playing the game. Just in case anything comes up, all right? I'll keep an eye out for info on any big shots that might be coming around. And I'll try to dig up some it's not mine anymore. You, you damn right. We went and formed the Phantom Thieves group, but we can't even find a target. There, there. I guess sometimes things just don't go the way we want them to. Excuse me. <laughs> Did you wish to see me, Principal Kobayakawa? You saw the state Kamashita Kun was in, didn't you? It's as if his personality. Maybe she's not to you guys, but to me, she's my queen. It's definitely wrong here. I'm not sure I follow. From what I've heard, it appears as though. Unfortunately, she was beat by Kasumi in my eyes. But if I was playing the vanilla game, yeah, Makoto would be number one for me. Are you saying that these students may have caused Mr. Kamashita to change? That is what I wish to know. Even if it takes some probing into student matters. I would like you to look into this for me. It is true that there are many rumors regarding Mr. Kamashita, but do you mean all of this talk about those phantom thieves? It is undeniable that Mr. Kamoshida has changed in some way. I'd like to have a grasp of the cause. This shall also ensure that I handle the mass media and police in the correct fashion. Oh. I will continue speaking to Mr. Kamoshida myself. Unless you find whomever did this, these irresponsible rumors will likely never die down. Don't you agree? You have been at the top of your class since day one. Your conduct is good, and teachers favor you. I could write you a Hell, I favor her too. College of your choosing, Makoto Nijima. Oh, we got a name. Thank you. Your lineage must certainly play a part in this excellence. Your sister is still young. Yet she holds an admirable position at the public prosecutor's office, no? Is you trying to holler? If something disappointing were to happen here, that wouldn't reflect very well on your sister. Look at his face. You understand? Yes. The way he said that, too. How wise. It's no wonder you're our student council president. Almost sounds like a threat. i if you'd look into this as soon as possible. I ask that you begin at once. Yes. If you'll excuse me then. It's me, sir. My apologies. He has he has this sir on yes, speed it's dial. About the matter we discussed earlier. I have all bases covered. The investigation will begin immediately. Not by my fat ass, of course I'm too lazy to. Let me get one of my students to do it for me. I should be able to update you soon. Well then, I must be going. Thank you very much for your time. You know, his suit actually looks very tight around his neck. Can this man even breathe when wearing that thing? See, this is what I meant by the title. More, less talking from me, more talking from the game. Because this game has two different sections. It has, it has the part of the game where you actually go out and do stuff. And then there's the part of the game where all the characters talk a lot to actually progress the story. So because we finished the palace, we finished the boss fight, and we're going to find our next talk talk it f target. Well, there's a lot of story, so a lot of characters are going to be talking. Mm. <clears throat> you know, I almost didn't do this tonight. Because there was a live stream I wanted to catch live this time. I normally save it for when I'm at work. Just to have like something in the background to pass by the time for several hours. It's more of a podcast. Because tonight the the after party was going to happen. Actually, actually as of me playing this, it is happening. Because on the Eric's Reloaded channel, 
it was scheduled for 10 p.m. And right now it's 10.22 p.m. They are talking about Superman and Lois Season 2 right now. And I'm missing it because I chose hey, to save it. Listening? To save it to, to pass the time at work tomorrow. You guys want to know my stance at... At the controversy around the show? Well, it's nothing anything. It's not anything serious. It's just a a, a... a creative decision. Now, I've, men I've mentioned this before. But to me... Superman and Lois is canon to the Arrowverse. It is on Earth Prime. Until I see otherwise. I don't care what they tell me. I don't care what... Uh, 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 uh... Todd Helbing tells me it is canon and I will not have my mind changed until I physically see it on screen. They brought back the same actress for Lucy Lane. Sure, Sam Lane was changed, but you can explain that through Crisis. Hey, John Diggle as well. Website? I've heard of it. Puts away his phone so he doesn't see it on my phone. Um... Yo, uh. You guys are the Phantom Thieves, aren't you? Yo, move, step back, player. Your breath a little hot. You're about to melt my whole face off. Uh, what now? Sorry. Although <clears throat> things really are as I think, I should keep it a secret. You know what? All your face injuries healed up pretty nicely. And I did some horrible things to you guys. This isn't much of a way for me to apologize for it. But if there's anything I can do to help, just let me know. That's great, but... This is a misunderstanding. Yeah, it's not us. That's all I needed to say. It's not just <coughs> Kamoshida. There are tons of evil adults out there. Uh. I'm sure the Phantom Thieves will do something. They can't let this end after just one target. That's why I wanted to make a forum where people could post their problems. There are probably a lot of people who have high hopes for the Phantom Thieves' next move. So, I've also implemented an anonymous poll on the site. Do you believe in the Phantom Thieves or not? I want to work on this forum so eventually it'll be packed with top something posts. and I don't know the other option. Hold on a second. Acts of justice. Hold on a second. Please? At the very bottom of the screen, he has Joker's mask. How does Mishima know that? I don't know what the hell it says, but how does he know what Joker's mask look like? Uh, do what you want, or it's up to you. Yeah, do what you want. I don't know. I'm not a Phantom Thief. I will. How does he know? How does he know that what the, what my mask looks like? Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Not the app. Besides the public's reaction to your group, there were others who supported you. Someone who enthusiastically cheered the Phantom Thieves on. Perhaps they were quite close. Maybe closer than we think. Because he somehow knew how my mask looks like. I clearly didn't tell him. I am and there's actually no way he would know unless he was in the metaverse and actually caught a glimpse of what I look like. See you. Aight. We heard all that. Jeez. It was a little awkward trying to figure out when to walk over here. So that forum is Mishima Kun's. Has he figured out our identities? He must have. So, he knew what my mask looks like. Fine. He seemed to be playing it cool. I guess we should have a little chat about this later. I will say, though. A forum where people can post problems may prove unexpectedly useful. Anyways, we gotta get looking for a new target. And we need to stay sharp until we manage to find one. Once we do, we'll have to head into another palace. So we should prep our equipment and... Wait! Oh, crap! Uh, what's with you? 
don't we have an exam coming up? Aw, oh, damn. Judging by that reaction, I'd assume you're going to struggle this time, too. I still struggle with it's exams. Like you're any better. All you're good at is English. I'd rather that than be bad at every subject. She right? Even your Japanese is questionable at best, Ryuji. What's questionable is whether you're really even a human. <laughs> good comeback, huh? Eh. Bring it. Ha <laughs> ha. Will you two stop it? I would love to see the two of them brawl and leave nothing but destruction across the school. Okay. Kind of like how in Family Guy, Peter fights the giant chicken. Do what to do in what? What to do between targets? All right. I found a place, so I can hang out with them. Do I have her confidant? Uh well, I don't like any of these. <laughs> Both of these don't sound that great, especially since we only met her like what, a month ago? I wouldn't want to trouble you. Tell me about your problems. Or I want you yeah, I'll probably say this. Yes, I do have the, a lover's persona. Good. I haven't started with On yet. So let's go with her. Thanks. Morgana's like, damn, I want to be with her, but I'm not going to third wheel you. Or rather, you're not going to third wheel us, so I'll leave for now. Um. But yeah, Superman and Lois. It is in the Arrowverse to me. It is still on Earth Prime. With the other shows. Well, actually, at this point, there's only one show left, being The Flash. All the other Arrowverse shows has ended. Arrow, Supergirl, Black Lightning, Batwoman, Legends of Tomorrow, all those shows are gone. Stargirl, well, that's on Earth 2. Watch this, uh, this, uh, this uh, belief of mine be very easily and quickly disproven and outdated. Cause as of me playing this, we only we're only just done season two. We ain't got season three yet. Yeah. Now how would they disprove it being on the same earth? How would they prove that it, it isn't on the same earth? Okay. Well I see a couple couple options. Uh they could recast, you know, but it ha it has to be very specific on recasting. It has to be a character we have not seen. Wait, it has to be a character that we have seen after Crisis to be played by a different actor. You know, we didn't see Sam Lane after Crisis, so we can just explain, well, his appearance was changed. But if it's someone, say, Jimmy Olsen, who is recast, and yep, there you go, there's your confirmation it's not on the same Earth. Or Lex Luthor, you know? Oh. Hmm. Or they, they do a crossover and bury... Or the Flash literally crosses over to the different Earth through a breach. If those things happen, well, there we go. But if that second option happens, well, now it's canon because they did a crossover. But to me, it's still on the same Earth. Because John Diggle and Lucy Lane. the Those two appearing is evidence enough to me. Now you could you could question what about the thing that Sam Lane said at the season two finale? Well, listen, plot holes and inconsistencies happen all the time. We wish they don't happen, but sometimes they do happen. <coughs> I 
You know, the Flash is absolutely filled with plot holes. Ahem, <clears throat> Savitar. Ahem, <clears throat> Cicada's Dagger. Mmm, <clears throat> Godspeed. All the time travel shenanigans. Hey. But you know, whatever. It's canon to me until I see otherwise. I'm pretty sure I'm the only person I know who actually watches Superman and Lois. You know, all my other friends who did watch the, the DC shows on the CW, Arrow, Flash, all those shows, they dipped out long ago. I'm the only one who actually stuck with it till the very end. You know, I have a friend who does stay caught up to the Flash. I think he watches it after the whole season's done so he can binge it all at once. And I told him, yo, watch Superman and Lois. It's good. It's really good. CGI is on point. Like, it's damn near movie quality on, on a small screen. Also got the movie aspect ratios, too. Like, why are you not watching this? And he's like, I don't want to. I'm waiting for it to go bad before I start watching. I want the show to dip in quality before I start watching. I'm just like, what kind of stupid ass logic is that? And you know what? Have you guys noticed? Well, I know you, I know my friends haven't because no one watches as many shows as I do, but have you guys in the general public noticed how many shows are doing that, uh, that aspect ratio change? during the show. I've noticed it so much. Oh, yeah. Let me think. What examples can I think of? WandaVision very much relied on that. Uh, Legion did that. Superman and Lois did it. Miss Marvel just did it with, uh, with the TikTok scene. Um, hmm? Technically, Arrow did it, but that was part four hey. of Crisis because that landed on the Arrow episode. So technically, Arrow did it. Uh, uh, Moon Knight did it with the, 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 um, the Stephen Grant movie scene. Uh, What If did it, um, Loki did it. A lot of the Marvel Disney Plus shows are doing it, but that doesn't, it's not limited to them. Walking Dead did it too with the CRM, not the CRM, what the hell, not the CRM, the Commonwealth. The CRM. Hell no, it was not the CRM. CRM wouldn't do something as petty as record a freaking commercial, but the Commonwealth would. <clears throat> I guess in a way you could also say Fear the Walking Dead did it too. Listen, you can tell just how, how big of a, a, a nerd I am by just the, the quick little taste of how many shows I'm watching. You get to lock up from now on. Yay. I can't keep waiting for you to come home. Okay. Don't start any fires, okay? You got it. Do you have a fire extinguisher? Just in case. Just in case. Well, I'm sure you have to. This is a place of business where you deal with gas. Oh, that's right! I have maxed out guts, so I could ask him about that now. Oh, I could also- Ooh, I could start either one of them. Ah, and the lyrics to Beneath the Mask are now playing too. <clears throat> what do you guys think of Beneath the Mask? Like, the, the remix they made for Smash Ultimate. I like it. You know, it's more upbeat. Sometimes I put that on to put in the background instead of this more calming version. Just because I just want something more upbeat to listen to. Hmm, do I want to go with EY or do I want to go with... I forget the guy's name. The, 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 the um, politician guy. I feel like the politician might do me more favors when I'm in battle. 
He was at Central Street, wasn't he? It definitely feels like a Persona song, but the the Smash Ultimate version. No, he no, he was at Station Square. I'll ask you why about the gun another time. The runaway train accident, mysterious psychotic breakdowns, a school with a corrupt teacher. We have yet to discover the truth of it all. Don't forget the corrupt principal as well. The apathy that permeates society is a direct result of negligence by our government and the media. You. You're listening quite attentively. Are you interested in politics? Not at all. Are you a student? I'm delighted to captivate the interests of someone your age. Mm. Mm. I could use the help for it. I could use the help of a young person, but I can't hire someone without any experience. I'm sorry about that. However, I'd be happy if you stopped by to hear one of my speeches again. Well then, that's all for today. I'm heading to the beef bowl shop. Persona 3 callback? Cool. You know what else I realized? I, I texted you about it. I don't know if you saw it or not. But uh, I'm pretty sure you saw it. I noticed that in Smash Ultimate when Joker got added, they only had stuff regarding Persona 3, 4, and 5. And even you told me before that At even Atlas is pretending like Personas 1 and 2 don't exist. And that even seems to be the case. Maybe they told Sakurai, no, 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 you cannot add anything Persona 1 and 2 into Smash. We, there's a reason for that. We sh we're sure you know why. I mean, I'm not sure too. I'm not too sure why, because I haven't played those games yet. If they would ever, you know, re-release it and give me a chance to play them. What's up, dude? Wow, what a fascinating garbage can. I had a life once, you know? I was an art student. Yeah, I was cool and everything. I had bitches all around me. Damn, bruh, you fell off. If you was an art student, well, we know why. Are you kidding me? I need to get a job to- t Oh, that's right, I do. I need to talk- I need to get a job to talk to him. Do I get the job or do I talk to EY? Mm. What's up, dude? Hey, Shibuyans. Come check this out. Let me talk to your manager. What's up? Hey, man. Thanks for giving me the time of day. Everyone avoids me because my Japanese is pretty rough. I'm just trying to promote this bar, you know? What bar? I'm not allowed to change the camera angle. You're just a kid, though. I can't let you in. Sorry, man. What if I brought back a fake ID? Will you let me in then? Cool. I was gonna try to pronounce that, but I was like, you know what? Never mind. I guess we could go and get that job. What are your thoughts? Let's see. We need that uh, beef bowl. Which one was it? Nope. This one. You know, speaking of applying to jobs, not me, but hear me out. So recently, a friend of mine who, you know, works for me on the weekend, he only works one day. So he's, he needs money, you know, he's a little low on the stacks, so he's been trying to apply to other jobs. So he's, he applied to one job lately, and he put me, of all people, as a reference. And not only that, he even put me as his manager. I'm just like, motherfuck, do I look like a damn manager to you? But you know, I was literally too lazy to argue. So I'm like, fine, do what you want. So yeah, he put me as a reference. 
and also put me as his manager. By the way, I'm going to... Hold on. What'd you say? You kinda are? I am? Cleanliness, cleanliness leads to managerliness. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare notepad on my phone and prepare to take some orders. What you mean this is cheating? This ain't cheating. I've been waiting. Oh, you're the new part-timer, right? I've been expecting you. I literally just made just gave you a call. Maybe ten minutes ago. No need to introduce yourself. I actually need you to start working right away. Any questions? Uh yes, several. I don't even have any training yet. What does the work entail? Are there any other employees? No, not really. Uh You know what? He he looks strict and he clearly needs us to work right away. This is this is a horrible idea, but make him like you better. Be like, "No, I got this." Thanks in advance. Okay, I need to head out for a bit. Keep an eye on the shop until I get back. You are making a grave mistake. You know that? First time on the job. Uh no work experience. Well, at least not here. No idea what I'm doing. She, I'm about to, I'm about to do do a SpongeBob and drive away all the customers. <clears throat> he burnt my fries. He burnt my shake. That was Squidward, but still. You know, I'm just noticing this guy looks like he has a Phoenix Wright haircut. Nice oh, I don't need to write anything down? Okay. Well, I prepared it just in case. So anyways, my boy, he put me as his manager and a reference. So earlier today, I got a phone call. Excuse me. I got a phone call, and it was indeed the, the job he applied to calling me and asking me about him. Oh, I need to press a button. Which, first of all, he's lucky that I even answered, because I don't answer unknown numbers. I don't understand- I, I don't answer numbers that I don't recognize. But because the number, it was in my local area, sometimes I, I answer just in case it's important. And if it's a pre-recorded message, like, uh... You know, a, a lot of times I get calls that... The first thing, like, I, I don't know the number. The first thing I, I hear when I answer is a pre-recorded Mandarin message, and I instantly hang up and I block the number. Hey. But today, I actually answered it, and good thing I did, because it was the job he applied to, asking me some questions about him. And you know what? I had to bullshit so much to, to make him look better in their eyes. They asked me stuff like... Does he get along with all the other workers? How how are his learning skills? Does he is he a quick learner? Uh, what are what are some of his greatest strengths? They didn't ask me about his weaknesses. I guess they only want positivity. They even they even asked me to rank him like give give us a ranking on poor, average, and excellent. In my mind, I was thinking that's it. Those are my only options. So one of them, I ranked him as above average, given how they, those were the only options I gave him. Wait, no, those were the only options they gave me to give him. I, uh, in terms of, they asked me about ranking his communication, I put excellent there. Uh, yep, yep. Something, something else. Something else they asked me, I don't remember. I put just average. I think in terms of uh, something else, I can't, I can't remember now. <coughs> they asked me three things. I ranked one of them as above average. They asked me... The second thing was communication. I put excellent. And something else I don't remember, I put average. You know, you don't want to oversell it. You just want to be like, yeah, yeah, he's good. He's good. He's still learning. But he's good. He, he's he's definitely good for your business. 
you know, you don't you don't want to trick them into into thinking like, yes, he's excellent, he's perfect, he's beyond human because he does not make mistakes. You'd be a fool not to have him with you. Like you don't want to oversell it, because otherwise they'd be a little suspect. And God forbid, if they're a little suspect, they would look into me, be like, you're no damn manager. You, you literally the same age as him. Talk about some, you the manager. So he lied on his resume. We ain't, we ain't is ex accepting him. Do you know the answer? I do not know the answer. Let me look it up real quick. You know, I'm, I'm the one talking about not overselling it. When I'm literally the one looking up the answers to all the questions in this game so I can get a perfect run. Well, not perfect run, but I can answer everything perfectly. Fatal Woman, that's the answer. Exactly. Humans are hypocrites after all. And I should know, I'm human. I'm a hypocrite sometimes too. We all are. <clears throat> so yeah, that happened earlier today. Something else that happened earlier was today was my second ever driving lesson. Which means today was also my second time ever driving, period. You know, instead of just driving around the neighborhood working on turns, I actually ended up on the open road today. I actually, you know, had to stop at stoplights use my turn signals and all that like it's not just an empty neighborhood road it's actually the busy streets with actual other cars driving around and you know uh, I never considered this before because I was never the one driving I was always in my parents car or my sister's car when they were driving I never really considered this but when you're at a red light of course you stop and of course, when you, uh, when there's a car in front of you, you definitely want to stop and not hit them. But it's kind of different when you're a beginner and you and there is a car in front of you. When that's the case, you want to not hit that car at all costs. Just bitching about their parents or their boyfriends. There ain't even a hint of a hint about a new palace. Because if you hit that car, who knows how much chaos will come from that? Finding a post with a name and location is asking a lot. Guess we just gotta find one ourselves then. Are you seriously suggesting we look for a target that even the police have overlooked? Absolutely. Yeah, you're right. We should probably just hold off till exams are done with, huh? We can wait and see for a little longer. Then worry about coming up empty-handed if it happens. Uh-oh. Oh. Did she see the cat jump away too? This place is off limits, you know. We'll get out of here once we're done chatting. Anyways, what's Miss Council President want with us? The troublemaker, the center of gossip, and the infamous transfer student. Hmm, interesting combination. You want to join us? Great way to start a conversation. By the way, it seems as though you got to know Mr. Kamashita pretty well. <laughs> Who? Who now? Oh, that guy! Oh, Mr. Squarejaw. Uh, not really. Yeah, you know he's only been here a month or so. Hmm. I heard Mr. Kamoshida used a volleyball team member to spread details of your past record. Don't you hate him, Mr. Kamoshida? I mean. Don't you hate him? Pretty sure the whole school hates him. My friend here's an upstanding guy. Why? Thank you. I don't mean to offend. Many students have been shaken up by what happened with Mr. Kamoshida. The rumors about that odd calling card-esque posting aren't going away either. I didn't expect someone like you would care about that tactless stuff, Nijima-senpai. I don't know that it was tactless. Anyways, we done here? We can't leave if you keep talking to us. At least try to understand my position. Being forced to deal with this horseplay. Horseplay? Ah, yes, by the way, it's been decided that this place will be closed off due to the incident. I heard some people are coming up here without permission, after all. I'm sorry to have interrupted you. What was that about? She's on to us. 
That girl seems rather sharp. We should be cautious of her. She really pisses me off. We may not like her now, but ooh, she's going to be one of our closest friends in the future. Talk about a pain in the ass. That reminds me. Study hard. Especially you, Ryuji. There are bound to be traps that will need to be solved with brains. Keep in mind that everything you do in your daily lives has an impact on your abilities. True. Studying won't be so bad if we just think of it as helping us prepare to be phantom thieves. I guess you got You know, I try to find any motivation to study for my exams and I get and I come up with nothing. <clears throat> well, I do have somewhere interesting to show you beforehand. You guys did originally promise to help me out with my mission after all. Huh? Mission? Follow me. Ah, this is where Mementos gets introduced. What are you bringing us here for? <clears throat> Just do as I told you. Excuse me. All right, I've got the Phantom Aficionado website up. Now what? Look for a post with a full name in it. I already said there's no info on any big shots. Don't you remember? But man, people actually go put someone's real name on here. That's some scary shit. You won't listen to what I say. No, wait. There's no name on this one. Someone's bad-mouthing me in online chat rooms. This one's got a name. Ignore uh. those. Aren't there any posts about more serious trouble? I don't know what to do about my ex who's stalking me. His name is Natsuhiko Nakanohara. It says he's a teller at City Hall. A government worker stalking someone? That should be a suitable target. All right. Now get the meta nav ready. We're just gonna jump right into a palace? Fine by me. Hey, what happened to all that talk of unanimous decision? What do you think we should do? Uh. Yeah, let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay then, let's go. We need a name and a place, right? So the name is. Actually, we don't need a location this time. Just enter exactly what I say. The keyword is mementos. All right, how do I spell that? What are you trying to pull? Just listen to me. It should work. I think. Ah, jeez. That again? Uh, mementos, was it? Candidate found. We got a hit? Just as I thought. You know, I wonder how we, it looks like to the general public when we disappear and enter the, the metaverse. Everyone disappeared. Does it just look like we no clipped out of reality, like we entered the back rooms? Is this that Nakanohara guy's palace? That's half right, but half wrong. This is a type of palace, but it's different from the normal ones. Come on, let's head down. The shadows here lurk underground. I don't quite understand why. It may be because they're drawn to something. Underground? How are we going to get there? There's literally a staircase. Now, you use it every day on your way to school. Follow me. Hey, look, the poster's back there, too. The hell is this place? Wait. Our clothes changed? It looks like there's a lot of Breath of the Wild malice all over the place. Since the moment we stepped in. You should have told us. We're still safe right here. I've come to investigate a number of times. Shadows never come up to this floor. But it's a different story once you go down. This place is simply teeming with them. Great. More importantly, what is this Mementos? It's about time you start explaining. Mementos is... Everyone's palace. Huh? What do you mean, everyone's? A palace as grand as the previous castle only forms when a person's wishes are extremely distorted. So instead of many individual palaces, the general public has one gigantic shared palace. That's where we are now. Mementos. Now that you mention it, this place feels a bit different from Kamoshida's palace. When you say shared, you mean they're all put together? 
even though they're just strangers? Think of it as the collective unconscious. No, never mind. You wouldn't understand that. So what you're saying is, using this place, we can even change the hearts of people who don't have a palace? Correct. The steps to do so are slightly different, though. But this place looks pretty huge. Are we going to be able to get around just by walking? It seems the time has finally come. Morgana, transform! I only wish you guys can see my initial reaction to when I saw this. A car? No way! This comes from the way cognition materializes in the metaverse. Plus a bit of extra training. It's and also plot convenience. You guys transform. You turn it into a car is totally different than our clothes changing. For some reason, cats turning into buses is an extremely widespread cognition among the general public. What? Why a I guess I missed that line before. No idea. Wait, why didn't you do this at the castle? I would have if I could. But that castle was cramped. There were tons of stairs, and no way this fits on top of a chandelier. Hey, Skull! Ladies first! Hey, stop pulling me! No, that's dangerous! Panther! Please be gentle! And then Morgana's like, wait, never mind! Oh. Panther, be as rough as you want with me! Why are you all just sitting back there? I'm a car, remember? I'm not going anywhere unless someone drives me. You can't drive yourself? Do you know how to drive? I've driven in a game, I don't have a license, time to bust my moves! Okay. Yeah, that's why you got seatbelts. You better not smash up my beautiful face. You hear me? <laughs> All right, then. We'll leave the driving to you. Damn, I would love to drive around in mementos and just just go crazy. It's not running. Jeez, what a pain. Where's the key to this thing? Why would you need a key? There's a switch just down next to the steering wheel. <laughs> that tickles. Lower. 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 Just keep on going lower. That feels so good. Uh, is that Burren I hear? Oh, what a creepy ass car. Don't underestimate my meowdery engine. We're going full throttle. It's time to fly! Path of something. Now, someone remind me, does the Jose Stamps transfer to New Game Plus? Because I'm not sure if I want to show me getting the stamps on screen. I probably will, but I certainly wouldn't want to. But if they transfer over, then pff, you guys out of luck. Damn, how are we supposed to breathe down here? Look at how much junk is in the air. Okay. Oh, I completely forgot about how to explore mementos. I forgot all about this. I mean like the feel. I remember how to do mementos, I just forgot that you actually have to drive around and unlock the map as you go. Use wind, okay. Oh, fire too? So what I can do is I can do two with Panther and then I can uh, baton pass it to Morgana. That way I save a little bit of SP. I'll just take these guys out. Okay. 
Okay. Shadow defeated. That was easy, huh? Yep, I know. Oh, look at that one. Well, not you, but you're in my way. Oh, there's a disaster one here. Or was there? Yeah, there is. Okay, no fire. What about the uh, these other two? Electric. This one's weak to gun, so what I... Okay, I didn't expect to take it out in one hit. Electric, got it. Okay. That's all it takes for me. Oh, oh. You have the perma pick. Again, all you gotta do is go to Home Depot, get two giant wrenches, and just do that, that trick where you just break apart the lock. Wait, what's over here then? Open sesame! Yeah, I can. I was like, wait, can't I throttle here? Yeah, I can. Aren't these guys weak to fire? Yeah. And you know what? May as well just use gun here. Okay. Okay, let's get going. This is the place. I sense the target up ahead. Are you ready? Yep. Does Desire play here? I don't remember. I think it might. Oh god. I don't know if you guys heard that. That may, that may lag out the stream just a, t a teensy bit for a second. Nope, Desire does not play here. Who are you? Are you that stalker? Haven't you ever stopped to consider how your ex feels? She's my property. I can do whatever. Nope, you're wrong there. It's not like she didn't treat me like a plaything. What's wrong with me doing the same? Nope, nope. Everything you say is wrong. Treat someone like shit just because they did it to you. What a load of crap. We're gonna change the hearts of all the bastards like you. There are millions of people far worse than me. You're not wrong there. What about my Rame? He stole everything from me, but you're letting him off the hook? Monorame? What the hell's this guy going on about? Ah, the seed being planted. Get ready. Here he comes. The way this thing moves reminds me of the 3D Hitmon Top animation. Now that I'm fu now that I finally have what's rightfully mine, I'm not going to let you take it away. Look, this is a winner takes all world. Come fight me and I'll show you what I mean. I don't think I get Whoops. Oh, yes I can. I thought they didn't give me weaknesses. Oh, of course you have to go for skull. But do I have electric or did I, did I get rid of that? I know, I know I saw one earlier, but this one's stronger. But I can't all-out attack. Nope. No, wait, I can't. I was about to say, because Ryuji, but never mind. Still a teensy bit rusty with this game. Skull's busy. He's going to miss a lot more now. 
damn. One more for the for real counter. Someone please be keeping track. It's a step forward. I ain't about to go through all this footage just to count. I'm I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I couldn't stop obsessing. <laughs> Not after this person I trusted used me and then disposed of. Then me. why would you stalk her? Wouldn't that be a more reason to just distance yourself from her? Or are you talking about Madarame? Hold on. Are you talking about that guy you mentioned earlier? Madarame? I was afraid of being thrown away again, like some worthless thing. So some selfish bastard was making you suffer too. Still, you shouldn't have dragged an unrelated woman into your mess. Yes, I know that now. I'll put an end to my love for her. Okay, so he was not talking about his ex. You can change people's hearts, right? In that case, won't you change Maharami's heart before more people fall victim to him? Change Maharami's heart? Hmm? What's that shining thing? It's the bud of a treasure. Had we left it be, it very well may have blossomed into a palace. Joker. This will make a perfect reward. Attachment pearl. So Nakanohara had a change of heart, right? Most likely. But how are we supposed to know if we succeeded? Well, the lady posted the dude's name online. If he really does change, she'll probably comment again. Mm, you do have a point. Either way, training against shadows down here is the best. It's great prep for our next target. It's also nice to be able to give courage to the people who post their problems online. On top of that, we can sell whatever treasure we get for some cold hard cash. Well, sounds like things are going pretty great for us. All right, we did it. Hold on. There's somewhere I want to show you guys before we leave. What, there's more? Don't worry, it won't take long. Do I, need, do I now need to go to the depths of Mermento? Mermentos? Mementos? Or at least as far down as I can go? Yes, we gotta do it. Whoops. What did he just say? There's something I'd like to check in an area further down. That platform that platform we saw earlier should be the way down. Let's head there first. Wonder if the dialogue there changes if I didn't find the way down first. Like there should be a way down somewhere, just keep looking. This place holds no meaning in that would wait. The layout changes every time you enter, kinda like the back rooms. For real? Literally impossible to predict. The back rooms is the definition of unpredictable. I can only I can only hope I no, I never no clip into the back rooms. Not like I believe it's real. Of course it's not real, but you know, a big if it was real, I would only hope I would never no clip into it. If I ever did, well, I would just accept my fate like, well, I'm in here, there's no chance for me. No clipping into the back rooms is essentially a death sentence. If you guys have been keeping up with the uh, the backrooms stuff, not even just on Kane Pixels channel, but also on the Async channel, I don't think it's a, I don't think they're associated. But the story being made on the Async channel, the guy literally found Async workers. He had no better chance than that to escape the backrooms, and yet he still couldn't make it out. He still got separated. Damn, he was so close to getting out of the back rooms too. Okay. They were too weak to bother with. Oh, hold on. 
a sec. You guys hearing something? If you guys couldn't tell, I'm very interested in backrooms lore. The trains are totally running. Of course they are. We're in the subway, you know. We're in a subway. All right, let me get a foot long. Then maybe this is how the public views this place. I don't know. What do you guys like on your sub sandwiches? Every day. I get the exact same thing every time. Running around on these tracks. Should be fine as long as we're not on the same ones. I think. You know, I would love to experiment and get something new, but it's like the way I think. Anyway, let's head to the lower area. It should be right after we go down that escalator. The way I think. Why risk? getting something you may not like when you could stick with something you know you're going to like this way. so let me think what do I get for my sub sandwich I, I used to get Italian bread I think now I'm aiming more towards Italian herbs and cheese <clears throat> I'll, I'll finish after this this place it's kind of creepy and a dead end at that uh oh why 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 the screen uh oh why is the screen freezing just watch this is most likely not an ordinary wall hold on a second i see i see the 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 stream is freezing hold on what's going on well it was freezing if my hunch is correct It opened. A new area has been confirmed in the depths. Updating guidance information. See? It's just as I thought. What do you mean? <coughs> that wall wouldn't budge when I came here by myself before. But it'd be weird for the deepest part of Mementos to be some normal place like this, wouldn't it? So you're thinking there's got to be more? Yeah. Now that Kamoshida's palace is gone and people are actually starting to talk about us, I knew something had to have changed down here. How deep is it? Should we try going further down? Let's not. That's not why we're here today, remember? We've already accomplished our goal. We should head back and I'll explain more once we're home. Hey, look. A person? In mementos? I feel like there was no reason to add this character to the game. Then again, I don't really remember what his role is. Besides just giving you items. Hey, what's he drinking? Looks good. Oh. Hmm. I thought I felt something strange for a second. So, who are you guys? We should be asking you that. Good point. Sorry about that. It's customary for a human to introduce itself before asking itself. another human for its name. Thanks for reminding me, Mr. Um, Tanuki? No, um, hmm, Cat? What took so long to come up with Cat? And I'm not either of those. Yeah, uh, getting confused about that seems pretty normal to me. My name is Jose. I'm looking for flowers. Right, flowers. Some normal humans running around. I That's right. Just come here. It's not just stamps. He likes flowers too. Wait, wait. That's not important. Who you are is what matters. Flowers right is what we, what currency we use for him, wasn't it? You mean that floating thing? That's right, pretty lady. Those seem to be the ones I've been looking for. I'm collecting as many of them as I can, cause I'm studying humans. Studying humans? That's why you turned a flower into a drink? Yep. Drinking flower juice counts as studying? Hey, could you guys help me with my research? What do we get out of it? How? By collecting flowers for me. What are we gonna get in return? Free though. I find all kinds of stuff you can use while you're exploring. I'll trade you some of that stuff for more flowers. What do you think? Should we try and get him some flowers? Yeah, sure. Seems like it could do us some good, but we don't know this kid. We gotta be careful. Oh, I'm sure he's fine. Let's give him a hand. He seems like he could use it, and it shouldn't be too hard to pick flowers while we're exploring, right? 
Okay. Any other reasons? <laughs> he called me pretty lady. <laughs> no, lady on. Morgana, you missed your chance. That's probably fine. I mean, he said he'd give us useful stuff and all. What'd he say? Well, are you going to help me find the flowers or not? Depends on the reward. Wait, wait, hang on a second. We still have no idea who this kid is. Don't go thanking us just yet, bud. Ooh, uh, someone jealous. Kitty? You seem grumpy. I am not a cat, and I'm not grumpy. Uh, oh, okay. Then, are you hungry? I learned hunger can make a person turn grumpy. Here, Cookie. You can have this. Thanks, but I'll pass. Well, yeah, you're making the kid worry about you even more. Uh, guess there's no way out of this one. I'll be looking for flowers around here, so stop by and say hi if you see me. Oh, and I guess just gathering flowers would be kind of boring, huh? Since you humans seem to enjoy playing so much, I'll come up with some fun games for you. Ah. I also remembered something humans like to say to each other. Good job. Who in the hell was that? If he's studying humans, does that mean he isn't one? <laughs> I mean, he just seemed like some nice kid. Well, he didn't feel like a shadow. I wouldn't say he's dangerous. At least for now. Anyways, if we see any of those flowers he wants, I guess we can grab them for him. I'm a little surprised that there's no confidant for Jose. For actually, no, his name is Jose. Hey. Unless I'm forgetting, and there actually is one, which I don't think there is. I picked up something strange while I was exploring earlier. Here it is. The warp star, but that's not, that's blue. The warp star is yellow. I don't remember what this star is used for. Oh, wait, wasn't this what gi uh, what gives us show times? Our wishes. I right, I wish for a billion dollars. I wish for world peace. I wish for uh, 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 ending world hunger. I wish for um, there was something else. Uh, 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 all the pollution to be cleaned up. I right, now that most of the planet is fixed, I wish for all the bitches in the world to be surrounding me. I'm kidding. Oh yeah, I was talking about my sandwich. So now I'm going more for Italian herbs and cheese. What I get is teriyaki chicken. I get cheddar cheese. I used to get bacon, but you know that adds nothing but more to the bill, so I don't get bacon anymore. Of course, toasted. Uh, and then I get lettuce, tomato. All right. Sometimes I get, oh actually, a lot of times I would prefer to get onion, but sometimes I gotta share with my dad. Like, share half of the foot long with my dad. So sometimes, depends on what I'm feeling, I'll get half onion. Or if I'm eating the whole thing myself, I'll get all onion. Or sometimes if I'm just lazy, I just don't get onions at all. And then for sauces, I get barbecue, mayo, and ranch. And that's my sandwich. I don't know how I ended up liking this combo. There are other things I would love to try too. Like I've never tried a meatball sub before. Mementos, huh? You know the death sandwich. I don't really get that place. Oh, and what was that wall thing we saw? I almost tried it once. 
but I and but clearly I didn't. That wall must have been there for a reason. If Mementos is the public's palace, though, it might be affected by the general public's belief in us. Why do you know so much about it, Morgana? My memories are a little foggy in that regard. However, I need to know what lies in the depths of Mementos, no matter what. No matter what? Mementos is not just everyone's palace. <sighs> of all palaces. And yes, my jaw do, does still hurt every time I yawn. It doesn't feel like it's getting better. It actually feels like it's getting worse. I'm certain my appearance will... You wanted someone to save you, too. I, I just needed pawns. I see. So that's why you came poking your nose around with us. I'll help you. I hope you can regain what you've lost. I'll... be relying on you guys. By the way, Morgana, are you a boy? Or might you be a girl? <laughs> Could it be a car? I hear it's actually hard to tell cats' genders. I don't know. I don't have a cat. Yeah, I agree. I wanted to make sure, though, just in case. He could turn out to be pretty ancient. <gasps> what if he smells like an old person? Stop that. Why would that be a good thing? In any case, of course I'm male. I mean, I... What is it? Oof. <laughs> It's, nothing. it's like, of course I have a P. Okay, never mind. Anyway, we now know that we can perform minor changes of heart in mementos. If we come across any eye-catching leads, it may be worth dealing with them for a bit of combat practice. There weren't any other outstanding ones, though. I bet we'll get tons of them if we can change someone famous and make the Phantom Thieves well-known. The big fish are our main targets, after all. First, you need to find a way to get through your exams. I gotta study. You can now go to Mementos. Awesome. And that will be my primary source of money. Oh, look who it is. You know, I gotta, gotta max out that money again. You know, my money's not maxed out and that bothers me. I see that number's not complete. And it triggers me. I must have more. Oh, that's right. Later on in the game, you don't even have to fight the shadows. You can just you just ram into them and you instantly win. I don't remember when that is in the game, but yeah, that's how you uh that's how you can grind for a lot of money. Not even having to fight the shadows. You just ram into them and bam, you get the money and whatever item might come with it too. So let's see, I don't know how much longer I'm going to go for. I mean, this is way shorter than the other ones I've done, but I'm trying to remember what's a good spot to end it. Because I don't want to go for too long. You know, I still have to meet Yusuke. Because I'm trying to think of a good spot to end it. If I end it now, despite this being very much shorter, what I could do is next time, I could get all the rest of the stuff out of the way, meet Yusuke, introduce the Madarame, all that stuff, and then the one after that, we just we just completely get all of Madarame's palace out of the way. Because if I keep going now, I'll meet Yusuke. And, you know, all of, you know, next time, all that other stuff. Maybe I could meet him first, and then I'll call it a night. Because he also does invite you out to that uh, art exhibit. What's up? 
Hmm? Can I go out? Nope. I mean, I don't have to work out all the time. I can't do any confidants, and I do need to study for my exams. So, let's do it. What do you want to do? Decisions, decisions, decisions. Yep. Now, I have tried this in the past. I felt like because I had maxed out knowledge, I could just breeze through exams, like not study at all. But that's actually not the case. Even if you're playing New Game Plus, I'm pretty sure of this, actually. Or, at least I'm pretty sure. Even in New Game Plus, if you have maxed out knowledge, but you don't study, your character will still struggle with exams. At least I'm pretty sure. So you do still need to study for exams, regardless of if your knowledge is maxed out. At least I'm pretty sure about that, I could still be wrong. You know, don't want to show Sojiro a big fat D minus on my my uh, report card. God, it's been a long time since I've mentioned report cards. Report cards aren't, haven't been a thing since high school ended. You know, there certainly isn't that in college and university. You, you see your grades online. It's based off your knowledge level? What if my knowledge is maxed out? By the way, how'd you get my number, Mashima? Remember what Roderick said. Deny, deny, deny. I think I can at least go on until I meet Yusuke. Unless I'm forgetting how much further away that is. How have things been? You know, with the special activities. Ah. Oops. <laughs> Sorry about that. I uh, haven't been getting a lot of sleep lately. I've been staying up managing the fan site all night. Every night. I think it's called PR. Uh, I don't understand. <laughs> you want to know more? That's not what I said. Basically, there's no point to taking down bad guys if nobody's going to know about it. That's why I've started a blog for posts from people you guys saved while filtering out the haters. We need the Phantom Thieves to be seen in the proper light if we want to make the name popular, right? You've done good, kid. That sounds pretty tough. Is all that ne really necessary? Um, he's the same age as us. Uh, that sounds pretty tough. You're not wrong, but it's nothing compared to what you guys do. <clears throat> I'm just supporting from the shadows. So actually, I really want to know how you punish people. Don't worry, I'm not gonna ask. It wouldn't be any fun if you just up and told me. We killed him, because we're the Punisher. Thieves have a reputation for being secretive. We have a very small reputation, you know? I, we just started. I wish I could be more like you guys somehow. But I'll still be here to draw attention to the stuff you do. You can leave that I to me. I bet you if we simply bring Mishima to Mementos or anywhere in the metaverse, he would get a persona. Or, uh, uh, my fingertips. It's like I'll be your strategic image management representative, so to speak. Because basically, any we just happen to find anyone. Every per every person we bring into the metaverse just happens to get a persona. You know, there's never been one case where we bring someone in and they don't get a persona. So if we follow that trend, if we bring Mashima in, he would get a persona, right? I know that's not how it works. Uh, you're really hyped for this. <laughs> just you wait. Anyways, if you have max knowledge, as long as you get all the answers right, you can do well. I'm pretty sure I tested that too. 
I, I answered everything because I <laughs> cheated, but it still seems like after that you would still struggle with the rest that you that you you know don't answer. You only answer what three questions? Unrelated to reforming society, it defeat the purpose of the site if the truth of the Phantom Thieves was buried among all that garbage. Oh, but you don't need to worry. I'll sort through all the trash. Speaking of which, I've already found some worthwhile info about our very own school. Oh, have you? To boost your popularity can start close to home. I'll give him my all. Mishima, are you going to handle all the potential bots that will spam your website? You know, because uh, Twitter and YouTube have not handled that. All right. Oh my god. Some one of my friends just texted us in the group chat. She's like, "Remember how we saw lots of avocados?" And she sends me a definition of avocado. Might be overworking myself. Literally, I don't think this is real. I think this is a joke. Literally translates from Aztec as testicle, making guacamole, testicle sauce. And then they have an example. Kevin, want an avocado? Joey, nah, I'll have a testicle. Kevin, what the fuck is wrong with you, Joey? <laughs> of course it's a joke. The picture looks like it's screenshotted off of Urban Dictionary. Man, I'm exhausted. I think I'd fall asleep on the spot if I weren't talking to you. Man, get some coffee in you. Wait a second, now why are you here? If I was you, I would have been home asleep. Uh, Mishima, you still haven't answered how you got my number. And how did you know how my mask looked? Found a bunch of haters com- A bunch of haters comments. Dude, you need sleep. You're not thinking straight, you're getting agitated due to your lack of sleep. Uh, All-nighters can mess you up. Or... Nice hustle, image manager. Image manager. Uh, yeah, man, you need some sleep. Wait, wait, that motivated you more? Uh, never mind. Uh, yeah, stay up all week for us. Don't get any sleep for us. May have said that wrong. You may want to hire someone to help you out with the site. Then again, I feel like that would put you in danger. Knowing that you are in charge of the f the website means you have ties with the Phantom Thieves. Hey. Your midterms are coming up, aren't they? Better make sure you study. God, I forgot all about midterms. I hate midterms. Let's do a little bit of shopping. Relaxation set. Relax, what, relax. Recover oil, relax gel, alert capsule. Bionutrient set, so that's for the tree. I don't need that in this run, so I will take the relaxation set. Yes, give me the more expensive one. Do we have these over here? I'm sure we do, but do people actually do them? Like these infomercials that will sell you the stuff on the spot. I don't know. if I don't know if I would trust it. But then again, I'm the guy who actually buys stuff on eBay. Not that there's anything wrong with eBay, but you just never know when you're going to get scammed. You know, there are stories of buying an iPhone on eBay and then what you get what you end up getting is a block of soap in the phone case 
or the box the box that the phone comes with so if I do something with Sojiro I won't be able to up him no pause on that but let's see let me just go see if I can do anything with those two wait I went to the wrong place again Please consider what I have to say. Haven't we heard this already? You. Is there something I'm missing here? Ah, there we go. If you work again. Let me save the game. Just in case if I do this again, I don't get the confidant to start. Alright, let's pull out my notepad and take down orders like a waiter does. There's a ton of customers coming in all of a sudden. I have to stop auto for this one. You're going to be bombarded with orders at this rate. Make sure you memorize them all. Me okay, first one, medium beef bowl. I'm literally writing this stuff down. Second one, large barbecue bowl. I'm only putting BBQ. I'm not writing out all of barbecue. Large natto bowl. Next one, medium. Okay, there's only four orders. Yes. All right, stay calm and remember the orders. What's the first person order? Okay, I have it written down. First person ordered medium beef bowl. <laughs> yes, that's right. What did the second person order? A large barbecue bowl. Hey. Third person. Large natto bowl. Or is it natto? No, nah, natto is spelled with one T. Large natto bowl. What the hell's a natto bowl? Nice. And the fourth person ordered a medium natto bowl. I don't know what a natto is. That was the order. You know, if I ever worked as a waiter in a restaurant, actually one of my friends does. You. If I ever worked there, I would absolutely have a little booklet and write it down. Some people, like some waiters don't need that. They can actually memorize it all. But not me. I know if I get a big order, I will forget all of it. See you again. Damn, I really thought I was gonna meet Yusuke, but guess not. I don't remember when that is. Our manager allowed us to bring Morgana in here? There's no, there's no way he knows, right? Because there's no way he would let us bring a cat to work. Especially at a restaurant. Yeah, see, Morgana's not in the bag. You handled it well on your own. Can I get a little bonus in my paycheck because of how well I'm handling it? We were crowded today, as usual. Wait. Yakin... 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 Yakin Niku Day. I wonder if there was some event happening nearby, huh? I don't know what that day is. Yeah, a little, a little extra pay. Thank you. Wow, that's a lot more than extra, bud. Man. Ain't that more than double what I earned last time? Didn't I earn like 3,600 yen last time? That times two is seven, 
7,200. That's way more than double. Bro, you're probably richer than your boss? Yeah. I technically could work for free because I already have all this money. But I'm not going to. Because technically that wouldn't be legal anyways. What? Imagine my boss finds out I'm richer than he is. He's like, then why are you working here? I'm like, don't you need customers? It's, it wouldn't hurt to make more money despite being absolutely loaded. You know, if I was, say, Elon Musk rich, I wouldn't mind earning, like, f an extra $5,000 every now and then. I probably wouldn't notice it in my bank account. Like, oh, 5000 got added to my bank? I didn't even notice. The number's so big, I didn't even notice. Seems pretty rough. But, you know, I, I wouldn't mind earning more money even if I was absolutely rich and loaded. And besides, now I can start the Confidant. See, and that's why it was good for me to go on a spending spree. Because I, you know, don't want to waste that money. All the money we get fighting shadows and going to work, don't want to waste all of that. Morning. Uh. <laughs> Everything okay? Actually... I've been having this feeling that someone's watching me. And that's why <laughs> government people embezzle taxes? Maybe I just can't shake off the feeling of infiltrating a palace. If only, can you imagine <laughs> not living in a corrupt noticed, world? You know? So it has to be my imagination. Somewhere in the multiverse, yeah. but not ours. Not on Earth uh, 1218. Hey, don't hey, don't you think the atmosphere at the school is kind of different now? Yeah, because there's no sweaty gym scent all over the air. You know, we don't smell that volleyball sweat and must all the time. Anything Kamoshida touches, you probably don't want to touch that afterwards. Like, he spikes that volleyball, ooh, probably don't want to get, don't want to touch that volleyball. Unless you want to go and get tested afterwards. That's victory enough for me. <clears throat> and who cares? Who cares what happened to him? As long as he's locked up, I don't care. Well, unless it's one of those luxurious prisons where they actually treat the inmates good. I think those exist. There was actually one scene in the show Forget About It where Cheech was in prison. And it was like a whole spa in prison too. Like a golf course, someone was served like steak and lobster, I think. And then Cheech was at the spa. Okay, I do not remember when I meet Yusuke. I think it's after exams, isn't it? Then when's exams? <coughs> okay, maybe we're not going to meet Yusuke this time. <coughs> I'm sorry I'm burping so much. Pollen warning. Oh, I just noticed that was up there as well. Well, and that's why I like winter. Get past the springtime with not only the pollen, but all the bugs too. And then summer with the heat? Mm-mm. I don't like either of those seasons. Give me give me winter where it's nice and cold. No bugs either. 
No, I keep on forgetting to mention this. A couple days ago, yep. when I was, uh, it was like 2 in the morning, I was going to bed, but before that, I went to the bathroom to pee, and I noticed an enormous centipede in my bathtub. Luckily, it was, uh, it was kind of stuck in there, like it couldn't crawl out of the side of the bathtub, so I had as much time as I can, or as much time as I needed, to get my typical bug jar, get it in the jar, and then wait for morning to release it outside. I tell you what, that centipede was huge! That was the biggest centipede that I had to deal with on my own. You know, before I decided to, you know, not sentence these things to death by calling my family to deal with it for me. All right. You know, now that I, you know, try to get my jar, my bug jar, trap whatever I can find and bring it outside. This was the biggest centipede that I had to deal with on my own. And let me tell you, that little bugger was fast, too. It was, uh, you know, it was stuck in the bathtub, but... You know, because the bathtub curves upwards, I couldn't get it when it was like on the corner or the side of the bathtub. I had to make sure that it was in the middle of the tub to put the jar over. But you know, it doesn't normally stop in the middle. It likes to stop in the corner. We don't have a palace to infiltrate. What request do we have? I probably should be letting all this play out, but whatever. <sighs> Do you guys think it sucks that we never get to see On with her hair down in this game? I think we only get to see it in Dancing with Starlight. Or dancing in starlight. I'm gonna make him pay. I'll be honest. I think I like her. I like. I like how she looks better with her hair down. But you know, that's not me saying I don't like her with her pigtails. Is that considered pigtails? The hairstyle she has now. Yep. The bark and the bite of a bully. Okay, because we don't really have anything else to do. Okay, let's go. Maybe I'll get this done and then I'll call it for tonight. Joker. Go ho M. Achoo! Achoo! The pollen's out of control today. It'll definitely have an impact on mementos. Oh, that's right! I forgot the weather has, uh, has effect on mementos, too. Um... Girls who keep their hair up always look good with it down. Also, vice versa to an extent. <laughs> like, you ever see those clips, or just like gifs or whatever of like a, a girl or a woman with her hair tied up in like a bun or in a ponytail and then they let their hair down oh my god hey all right do the boss now <laughs> all right we're gonna stop before we meet yusuke so let's do the moderate on my boss now because that's how the game works Now, that's not me saying I don't like ponytails, too. Or hair tied up as well. I like that look. But I'm saying, like, specifically for On, I think I would prefer her hair down. But that's... Th then again, I'm not saying I don't like her hair now. All right. Let's start today's <clears throat> job. Well, then. then again, I don't think you can really say that if you're... But then again, I... I, I, I wouldn't really be in a position to say this, because, uh... Oh, wait, what am I doing? Regardless, what I'm trying to say is, I'm not sure if, uh, you mean the twins? Oh! The twins.
twins boss fight. And maybe next time, because right, we're already in mementos. But I'm not sure that, you know, we can really tell women what we prefer, how we prefer them to look. I don't know, maybe in specific circumstances, like if you're married, you're like, you're like, wife, I, I don't really like that haircut you have. I don't know. Then again, I'm not in a position to say because I'm I've never actually been in that position. End the stream fighting them? Ooh, I don't I don't know. I don't know, bro. Maybe next time. I don't know. I should be able to find more flowers deeper down. Well, I should get going. Good job. Like if you're in a relationship, unless unless your partner is fine with it. I don't think we can really say like, I prefer if you wore this because I like you looking like this for me. You know, I don't. I don't think we can really say that. And vice versa too. I don't know how comfortable I would be if I'm in a relationship, and 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 she told me I like it when you wear a banana hammock around the house all day. I don't know. That's a that's a very sensitive topic to touch upon. There's got to be like a gray area in there. Like if the if both parties in the relationship are okay with it, then fine, but I don't think in a relationship we can really demand or, you know. For real? Well, yeah, demand for lack of other words, demand that the other person look a certain way just because we want them to. Oh, right, the Reaper! That's a thing in this game! I don't think I actually defeated the Reaper before. Well, I may have, I don't remember. If I remember correctly, the only- the greatest chance we have in defeating the Reaper is when there's Pollen. Are these guys weak to fire? Yeah. Okay, yes, they're all the same. Right? Yes. Because I remember there's another persona in this game that looks very similar to these guys. Well, this is a dead end. I mean, if you guys were in a relationship with On, would you really tell her to, to put her hair down? Like, really? Weak to wind and fire. All right, save some SP. You know what I would have found interesting? It had they included this in the Smash update for Joker. You guys know Joker's final smash is the all-out attack. It would have been cool if they added the other character's splash screen too. 
Instead of all it always being Joker. I mean, it makes sense. It's only him. But then again, it's like there's, there's so many other splash screens, too, that they could have used. I have 17 flowers. Hey, good job. You, we can also talk about the will seed thing as well. What you got there? That's really neat. Crystal of sorrow. Or sorrow, however you pronounce it. This is amazing. I recognize it from my studies. I'm feeling strong human desires coming from this accessory, but it still hasn't reached its full potential. May I see it? I, I won't do any damage to it. I promise. I just do this, and then this, done. Here you go, mister. Now that accessory can use its full potential. Ring of Lust and Ring of Sorrow. Let me know if you find any others like it, okay? Learning about desires. You forgot about this? About I didn't. This was actually one of the the part of the games I didn't forget. I mean, I remembered it after I remembered the the will seed things. Stamp book. Now the question, the the big question is, do the stamps carry over to New Game Plus? Because if it does not, well, I guess I'm, I guess I gotta go get those again. <sighs> if you remember correctly, Ring of Sorrow is OP. Well, too bad I don't really ex equip accessories in this game. I probably should, but I'm too lazy to. Too much thinking, too much brain power. Oh man, it does, it seems like I may have to get these stamps again. I remember last time I played this, I... Wait, they do? Please tell me they do. Because I remember last time I played... Last time I played, I had to grind for the stamps off-screen. I remember spending hours trying to find one, and it turns out it was one that I missed that was uh, the static ones, where it's not randomized. It was a... It was a... At one of the rest points in Mementos, and I kind of, I completely forgot to get it. Flowers equals getting stuff. Wasn't there something here that I always bought last time? I just spent all of my flowers here. Inflict Dizzy, Inflict Sleep. Restores 10 SP, it restores 50 SP. Tool that can... Be that can only be used in safe places. Restores 20 SP to all allies. Alright, so clearly these two are the most valuable. At least for now. Well, yeah. But I don't have enough flowers. What's this? Right! This as well! Oh, I completely forgot about this. And look, I have stamps. 165. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Money, 120%. I can get that done right away. Items reward or... 200%. Alright, let's not go crazy now. Let's actually think about this. I have 165. Yeah, they take way more. Can I actually just max out all of these? I can! Do I dare? Yes, I do. You want me to change mementos? Sure. Well, hell yeah! Given how much of an upgrade I'm about to do. Here we go. What are you doing? Just watch. Check Ring of Sorrow, check the attack. One sec. The cognition flowing through mementos. It's got these things that are similar to what you humans call pressure points. So, if I do this... His hammer with the star. It looks like... It looks like DDD's hammer. It gives you... It just gives you a free all-out attack. There. That should have changed it for you. Don't believe me? Just take a look for yourself. You know what, speaking of DDD, I saw a tweet the other day. Speaking of. And it's regarding the collab 
of uh, Kirby and the Forgotten Land with Kung Fu T. I saw this tweet. Kung Fu T had a sign outside. Don't let the heat DD defeat ya uwu. Suck some Kirby balls. That's what the sign said. And the tweet is, is Kung Fu T okay? If you guys actually follow the Kung Fu T Instagram account, they post they post some wild stuff there. Like I can't believe this is an official company posting the wild stuff that they do. I got to leave the the link to that tweet in the description below. You guys have to see this. But anyways, so yay. I don't got to do none of that bullshit with the stamps. Hold on, the treasures have respawned. Have responded. Man, wake your ass up! Oh, I didn't even check the ring yet. Whoops. <clears throat> weak to wind. Electric. Not you, you. Weak against gunfire, huh? By the way, why am I starting the battle with on? Use electric moves. Those are its weakness. All right, let's see how much money we get. Eight, eight, eight. Okay. Okay. I'll be honest. I expected a little bit more, but that's okay. We're still at the very beginning of mementos. Now you said check the ring. Now this ring isn't the type that only, you know, gives us seven days remaining. Where was it again? I'm pretty sure, is it equip? Let's see, uh, accessories. Ring of Sorrow. Bears the seal of a mourner. Wearer recovers 8% HP and SP after victory. Ooh, that actually sounds awesome. Damn, that actually sounds really good. What the hell was this attribute called again? Like, you know, you got... You got... Uh, you got curse, nuclear, wind, ice... What was this one called? Also a free all-out attack? Well, it doesn't say that. Almighty! Right, that's it. That's what it's called. I find it interesting how they really don't acknowledge Almighty. Like, at all. There, there really wasn't an, an Almighty user until Zenkichi, Zenkichi. Did I say his name right? Oh god, it's been a while. Equip it for next fight. Sure, I guess. What am I? What do I have? Like, what? I got hip glasses. What does this do? That makes one look smart. Plus nothing. I know I could probably do this. You know what? Sure, I'll equip the ring. Uh, where was it again? Ring of Sorrow. But yeah, I find it awesome that in this game, I don't think it was in the vanilla game, they acknowledge Almighty's existence by actually having it on the, 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 um, what's the wheel called again? The, the casino wheel for size boss fight. Like, I think they added that for this game, but it wasn't in the original. Like, Sai's boss fight has all the attributes, even gun and physical, see? It has those two as well. Look, look, Almighty's not even here! Why is Almighty forgotten? Also, Joker only has the attack? Huh? What attack? Almighty? Well, that makes sense. Because no one else can, one, use multiple personas, and two... Specialize in Almighty besides Zenkichi, but he's not in this game. All right. That was so easy. I'm yawning. 
What was I doing again? Right, right. There's a there's a there's a dude down here that I need to change. Now before I go over there, let me see what kind of treasures that were left behind. Only Joker has the ring attack? Damn it, I don't have ice. Whoops. At least I don't think I have ice. Nope, no I don't. Also cause Almighty can't be resisted or weak to. At least not to in this game. Is that the case in other Persona games? Is anyone else like this? Like, I often favor the thing that, you know, kind of gets forgotten. You see how Almighty's not here? That makes me like Almighty even more. Kind of because, like, how rare it is in this game. Not many moves are Almighty. Not even gonna check the ring for attack. How do I check that? How do I check that? Wait, how do I check that? Yeah, I can also grind up for EXP down here as well. It's a move in your attack list. Where's my attack list? And also, folks, don't forget, you, you can't keep your flowers when you leave mementos. Oh, God. <laughs> I didn't expect a shadow right here. So, whenever you leave mementos, you want to make sure you spend it all. Even if you don't need the item, just spend it all. Cause then it'd be a waste. Then this move sweep, yeah. But wait, maybe, uh, maybe when you use your persona skills. Yeah, don't expect me to work on the compendium, or not compendium, but uh, whatever it's called in this game. Okay. Holy shroud! What's a shroud again? Okay. So I see a door over there, but let's see what's uh, what's up ahead first. Hey, why aren't you affected by the pollen? Yeah, mementos can take a really long time. I should probably put the ring on on. Because of how all the SP I'm using off of her. Okay, guys. okay. Man, yeah, take this shit off, man. You ain't using it. How do I how do I get rid of it? Equip something else. What can I equip instead? Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Adhesive 3. Give me this. Actually, I could have put that on her, too, but that's okay. Here on, I'm giving you a ring. Okay, let's go upwards. What's over here? It's a dead end! My favorite! Wow, that was a lot of items there, too. Another dead end! Okay, now let's go see that door, which was more down. Oh, gotta pick up the items. Holy crap! Not only is it four different items, but multiple of them. Hey, where'd you get an almighty move from? Yeah, mementos can take a long time. Yeah, I've been on for over two hours. I'm just gonna get this guy dealt with, and then I'll call it there for tonight. Oh, she got the almighty move from the ring? Neat. Oh, the platform. We can probably head 
it down from here. Aha! I flip you off, stamp, because I already got it. The hell with these stamps. Caused me so much pain in the past. Is the dude here? I've been telling you about the whole time. Oh. Oh, that's what you meant. The ring gives me a new move, but I don't know who which persona of mine has the move. Alright, let's let's use it on On this time. Let's let On use the Almighty this time. Let's scout this floor for them. Is it here? Yes, I think. The person somewhere here. All of them is just the, in the move list, so everyone gets a new move. Weak to wind. Alright, let's see. Knock down all. Wait, knock down attack on all foes. Only usable during an ambush. Let's try it. Damn! But that did take a lot of SP. Only usable during ambush, so that means it's not usable in boss fights. It's kind of like the Fierce Deities mask. You can't use it on regular enemies, you have to use it during boss battles. Just gotta check. Because there's so many in this game. I can't remember all of them. So wind and... Wind and fire, right. Pfft. I'm already using fire. Again, why am I starting with on? Whoops! Do I have wind on you? Hell no, I don't. Okay. Well, at least I can just try to brute force and take you out. Like that. Uh, okay. Well, I can grind money easily. Give me an item. Fine. That's ironic. A shadow with a sunny expression. Only the person who has it equipped has it. Joker has it on all personas. Oh. You can press R1 and it will pull out something that is super effective. Cool. I think I knew about the R1. I just don't use it often. What's it like to be all kissy face with somebody? It's, <laughs> it's incredible. I shouldn't tell you. Ask your parents. Uh, it's incredible. <laughs> oh, what? Why are you mad about that? I never asked you about this. This is a super important question. Hey mister, when you eat curry, what kind of stuff do you add to it? Coffee? Soy sauce, pickled ginger, nothing. Uh, I would not add either of these. Well, I wouldn't add nothing either. Maybe like have some bread on the side to dip it in. Uh... I don't know, uh, pickered ginger? Muscle drink. Okay, then. We all did great, huh? Yeah! Victory! Alright. I have something. I mean, I don't need to take down all the shadows. This one's, this one's sleep, so just, let's just leave, a, leave it alone for now. Let's, let's keep exploring first, because as the layout changes. Okay, for now, let me change that again. If I go to equip... I will give you... Can I even give it to you, or do I have to unequip it from her first? 
I don't know. I'll, I'll put something random on you for now. Uh, go to on. I will give you the adhesive. And then I'll give Joker the ring. That's the way down. Still a couple places we have yet to explore, so let's take a look. Before I get out of my way. Kinda, uh, yeah. Maybe there are ghosts around. Don't say weird stuff like that. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Look, these guys are shiny Grimers. Or rather, Alolan Grimers. Okay. Easy win. But there's still that area over there I didn't explore. Maybe there's a treasure chest. Wait, is this the right way? I need to go this way. Wait, no, not. Oh, oh, breakable wall. Small gold lamp, I'll take. That's right, wasn't there something on the map that indicates a breakable wall? Or am I just forgetting? Ice! No, wait. Gunfire, electric, and wind. No, not this. This! Anything valuable up here? Shadow. A big ass room. Joker. Okay, I don't need to take down another shadow. K damn, can you imagine? Imagine they did this. Imagine if you could very rarely find a shadow that's a different color. You know where I'm going. Imagine if there are shiny shadows. So it would encourage you to fight more. Maybe you could... Um, Maybe you could get a shiny shadow to join you, and you could use a shiny persona. A persona of a different color. Just like shiny Pokemon, it serves no purpose besides the color being different. Oh. And the fact that you can say you have one. And we all, we all know I have hundreds of shiny Pokemon. Still not enough. I need more. When is it... When is it to the point you have too many Shinies Pokemon? <laughs> Never. Maybe if maybe until you literally run out of space and you cannot hold any more Pokemon. Up, up, up. We know this song is not allowed. So if I have to deal with this copyright afterwards, welp. Really for this tiny little segment too, I gotta I gotta mute this section too. I was right in thinking that this song plays sometimes down here. Oh, I gotta deal with this after now too. And it was so go it was sewing. It was going so well as well. Okay, come on, come on. At least there's an ass shake happening on the screen. <laughs> Sure, some of the guys loving that. Okay, I can't believe this song, of all songs, is not allowed. Life will change, I can understand, but come on, this? Desire, really? This of all songs in the game? Ah, we go from the copyright song to the awesome song. I don't see a weakness. Really? It only makes sense if you were weak to, to fire. But since it doesn't seem to be the case... Oh, come on! Miss as well! 
Wait, what, what, what don't we don't, what don't we know? Psychic, nuclear, and bless. Let's try bless. Okay, clearly not bless. Inflicted with fear. Yeah! Use that fan from Smash Brawl. Don't miss this time. Thank you. So we still need to try Psychic and Nuclear. Do I have either of them? I could try the, the Almighty. But it's not an ambush. Wait, but does that matter? Only usable during ambush. Am I allowed to use it? No, I can't. Do I have psychic or nuclear? I do not. Not either one of them. Okay. Wait, let me go back. If it's not fire, it doesn't have a weakness. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. This thing normally should be weak to fire, but because this is a... I don't know, a special battle? Maybe they maybe it doesn't have one. Sweet, inflect it with shock. Alright, lucky punch! This is what I this is what you should use for the treasure demons. But if I lucky punch, the shock would get sent over my way. But it is technical. Wait, maybe not. Maybe maybe if it's melee that happens. Light damage or medium? Well, I don't think this guy's gonna do too much to me. Yep, that's what I was thinking. But that's okay, we should be out of here soon. 16,000! So this is probably going to be... It soon. I'm going to get out of Mementos, and I uh, call it there for tonight. I didn't have a choice. Ooh, 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 Sunset Bridge. I love this song. What? Hey, look. Uh, right, right. We're, we're after... I was about to say, it's a, it's a Shujin uh, uh, a student. But then I remember, right, that's actually why we're here. It's a Shujin bully. Gotta love Sunset Bridge. Sweet, more protein. Well Alright. Yep, gonna go back to the entrance. We'll finish Mementos another time. I literally just said, too. Before you leave, go buy something from Jose. Change card decals? What is this? Wait, what? What is this? Um. Wh huh? I assume the usual is change it back. What is this? Okay, um, so I need to find where Jose is. Twin battle? I don't think so for tonight. It's like, it's 12.27 a.m. I still gotta work out for tonight. And I've been on for 
over two hours. I think it's I think it's been long enough tonight. Yo, Jose, where your eggshell looking ass at? So what's up with what's different with Morgana? Wow. Okay, okay, I'm not mad at it. We dripped out our car. Uh, I guess we just gotta find him. You're just gonna die, by the way? Yeah, because uh, I don't know how to do that boss fight. Yo, eggshell boy! Where you at? I got stuff I wanna buy from you, that way I don't waste these flowers. No, no, get away from me. Get away. Get away. Alright, fine. If you're that insistent... Don't think I can buy anything useful? Me neither. But, me as well, just to not waste it. He's not on the floor? Oh. Hey! How dare you dodge my attack! Uh-oh. You'll know if he's on the floor when you enter the floor. Yeah, I kind of had that feeling too. Wait, what am I doing? I can't, uh, I can't all out attack. Electric and... And more guns, so I'll pass it on to me. Oh, right! He'll jump out! Right! He does that. Uh, fine, give me an item. Revival beat. Sweet. That's a that's actually a really good item too. Ooh, that's a lot of money earning that bank. Come on, let's find this boy and get out of here for tonight. Because I, uh, uh, I still have so much to do before bed, and it's already 12.30 in the morning. Who needs sleep anyways when you got caffeine? I don't drink coffee, by the way. I prefer tea. Milk tea. Yeah. So if I, can I just keep on doing this? Can I just keep going up and down? Pause. Just to get Jose to, to spawn. But yeah, see if you can try the twins. I think it'll be fun to see you now compared, compared when you actually beat them. Well, certainly not today. Okay, I don't think Jose is going to spawn. One more try. Unless this isn't how you get him to spawn. Yeah, you can just go up and down. You know, in reality, this ain't this ain't even worth it. <laughs> Alright, one more try, and if he doesn't spawn, I'm out of here. I'm gonna waste the 67 flowers. It's no big deal anyways. Whoopee, okay, I'm out of here. Yep, I'm out. I'm gone. Not worth it. With how, with, with how many more times we have to come into mementos, we're going to get plenty of more flowers. You'll die within the first few turns, 100%. Thanks, uh, thanks for the reassurance. Just fun oh, yeah. to see. Yep. Hell yeah, get me out of here. I'm pretty exhausted from going to the metaverse. Let's take it easy instead of going out. After exploring the metaverse, exploring the metaverse will leave you drained, so it's best not to travel far afterwards. You can, however, spend time at LeBlanc and in your room, so plan accordingly. Ah, you're back. Yo. Sweet. 
more Amazon Prime packages. Man, it's too late to, to try the twins for today. I'll do it another time. <clears throat> hey, you got me playing this game two days in a row. Be thankful for that, at least. Knowing my track record, I'm, it, I'm surprised I didn't take another week before I played this again. Hmm. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stop it here. Let's do it. Because I was thinking, what I can do now is study to prepare for my midterms. But I'll save that for next time. Hopefully, I remember to do that starting next time. All right, that's more than an. A hundred and seventy-one hours. That has to be carried over from the original game. Because this is only, what, part seven? And I do average, like, two hours of these? So that's been four, 14 hours already. You know, last time I was shocked to... It doesn't matter. I'm, I'm pretty sure it is. But I'll take your word for it. Last time I was shocked to, to realize, like, wow, I did six of these and I'm only now finishing up the Kamoshida story. Yeah, but anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Alright, bye now.